It was a normal day, like any other day. Then, quick visit by a man. It was a springtime geographic roller, and he changed that to an exotic man. Hello there? Hello? Anyone out there? Yeah, it's me. Uh, I'm a springtime artist. Could I talk to you about some art? Come on in! You know, I don't get many visitors around these parts. Some... Oh, uh, see, that's the thing. I like to come, I'm a springtime geographical artist, that means, uh... So you draw spring geographics? Yeah, actually, I, I do a lot of spring geographics. It's like, uh, you know... What about winter? Well, my, uh, my parents died in the wintertime, so I forbid myself to draw them. So you want to draw the geography under my clothes? No, actually, uh, just trees, landforms. Oh, well, I guess that's all right. Uh, thanks. It's appreciated. His aura was beautiful. Couldn't stop watching him draw it. What you doing there? Sorry, uh, my uh, springtime geography art in me. We're personal. We aren't. We aren't like you know. You can't just come over here and watch me write it. Well then, uh, so. You just want me to hit the bricks? Yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you could so I could, you know, just finish up. His art was beautiful. I wasn't allowed to watch him, though. So I had to watch him from afar. I watched him about three, four hours. It all would have been fine. Then it happened. He dropped his writing utensil, and then he spotted me. What are you doing? Seriously. All right, listen here. I need this. I need this for when I'm alone. I need this so I can beat it till the break of dawn. It's my family. No, I can't let you stop. You give me that book, or you die. A true artist dies for his or her work. And that day, he died. And that's how it happened. In fact, he land right over there. Next to Mr. Wintertime Artist, John the Winter Ge Geography.